Now, hopefully, after going through the first half of the lecture, you can get through the second part of the lecture without needing my lecture yet. Uh, it'll be up there next week, I promise, but it's not going to be up there this week. But if you're moving a little faster and understanding this concept, please keep moving along through the book and, uh, and through the notes because everything that you need in order to complete this worksheet is in your notes. And you're just doing the same thing. You're taking the formulas, you're using them to calculate the numbers in the box, and then we're graphing it. So we're going to go ahead and graph the numbers that I have. Now, all of the numbers that you calculate when we're talking about an output decision, so the fixed costs, marginal cost, marginal effort, are all dollar amounts. So that means that what we can do is put a dollar amount here. And then we're trying to graph in relation to our output because our goal now is to decide how much output to produce. So dollars on this axis, output on the x-axis. And then again, what you're kind of going to do is, since we're going to try to graph average variable cost, average total cost, marginal cost, and marginal revenue, so these last four columns, uh, you're kind of going to look around and figure out which one is your highest number, and it should be about 110, you should have come up with at one point. And we're going to put that one at the top, and then we're kind of going to try to figure out which is our lowest number. And it's a little over 50, I believe, so if we put 50, uh, so we should actually be able to go ahead and, you know, maybe just go from, you know, 10 all the way up. So if we start with this one as... 10, all right, so we have these labeled, and again, as far as this bottom part goes, um, I would just go ahead and our output is 100 weight of beef. And so what I would do is I would just place all these numbers along the bottom. All right, so we've got all of our outputs on the bottom. We have money on the side. And then what we're going to do is you're going to look at, you know, at 72 output, what's going to be our average variable cost? 54.86. So somewhere up above 50, but adapt. And do the same thing for all of these. and connect the dots and we have an average variable cost curve that we have created and it's kind of smiley face a little bit which is the shape that it's supposed to be so that's good <laughs> 